In this video, I will show you how to connect your domain and create a subdomain to a builder or 5.0 cheetah website builder. Hi and welcome to this channel. So this is the 5.0 dashboard. I have a quick review on it. If you've not watched it, you can check it out, especially if you haven't watched the 5.0 review. I have tutorials on builder all, so make sure you check my playlist and I'll drop the link in the description box as well. All right, so let's get into the video. So to connect a domain, you need to create a page, like a landing page, a sales page, simple one page website, or any page that you want to promote, because you need that before you can connect a domain. All right, so there are two ways you can create a quick website. You can use tools, then go through the Cheetah website builder, okay? But, but I'll show you how to create a quick one. So click on start a project, then create a website down click on start here so i'll grab a quick template and we're gonna work on it all right so these are the templates you can grab any of them and change it to whatever you want load more i like this one better okay so i'll just close it and choose this scroll down next step Because that's the domain name so i'll scroll down create website you can go to website and check it but i don't want to do that i don't want to waste your time so edit website all right so this website is live and connected to be the all sub domain that's not professional okay so i'll show you how to connect your domain and create subdomains right now scroll down and click on domain then you're going to name the domain here so I'll show you quick. All right, so I've logged into my domain host and I'm using Namecheap. You can use GoDaddy or whatever you want, but if you want Namecheap, I'll drop the link in the description box so you can use it. Okay, that's my affiliate link and thanks for using it. All right, and also you can buy from Builder as well, but I'll advise you to buy from a third party. It gives you total control of your domain in case something go wrong with uh, Builder All. All right, so once you have your domains, all you got to do, click on manage. All right, so this is a domain name, so I will just copy, right click, copy, and I'll go back here, and I'll just right click, paste it. This way, you're not going to miss your spellings and stuff like that, all right? Then you click on connect, then connect domain confirm, really want to connect the domain. If you check and the spelling is correct, then you click confirm, then it's going to generate seven names for you. All right. If you are using IP, then this is what you're going to use, but I'm going to use the seven names. So copy this and make sure it says successfully copied. So that's server one. So you move, you go to your domain host, then you scroll down under name servers. It's going to say name chip basic DNS. So click on this and click on custom DNS, name server one, right click on it and paste it. Then you go back, copy the name server two. Please don't try to use the same name servers for each page you will connect into, because it can change, all right? So please use what Builder all gives you, okay? Go back, right click, paste. All right, so when everything is done, you're going to click this checkout. It says save. It's going to take up to 48 hours to take effect. That's normally how long the DNS servers take. But in most cases, it takes between half an hour to one hour. So then I'll go back to the Cheetah Builder system. I'll click on republish again. I like doing that whenever I make some changes. So once that is done, what you're going to do. All right, so let's go back here and close this. You don't need it anymore, okay? So close it just so it will not distract you. Then return back to your main editor. So right now, like I told you, it's going to take half an hour to an hour. If you try, it's not going to work. So let me show you. Then you go to the website page. See? All right. So as you can tell, it's connected under Builder All System with the SSL, which is required by Google, but it's not on the server. So I'm going to wait and I'll come back after half an hour and I will just try it again. All right. So I'll close this and I'll close this as well. 
all right but make sure you log off from your domain host okay all right so it's more than half an hour now and it's getting to an hour so let's check it out click on these three dots and click on go to the web page boom it's fast and easy and you have your ssl certificate here and everything is good this is just a simple one page so you can connect your domain all right so to create a subdomain i've created a site already so i'll connect a subdomain to it click on tools all right so i have it in here so i'll click enter scroll down click on domain so the subdomain name is tube buddy okay dot all right so the, this is a subdomain name tube buddy dot then the primary domain name that we're gonna create a subdomain on and in this case build for business.com all right so this is all you're gonna do tube buddy dot build all for business.com then when everything is done click on connect Connect your domain. Connect domain confirm. Really want to connect the domain to buddy.buildallforbusiness.com. Yes, confirm. All right. So as you can tell, it brought me back to the domain info page. All right. So since we are not connecting a primary domain, that's it. We are done. And what we're going to do, we have to click on uh, republish. Like I told you earlier on, always don't forget. All right. So everything is done. What you need to do, wait for half an hour. Okay. So I will show you quick. So go to home. All right. And let's try and assess it. You see, it's not going to work right now. So go to website. See. So we have to wait half an hour later. Okay. I will close it and I will come back. All right. So I'm back and uh it's another day actually because i have to go out so i was not able to wait for the half an hour to show you guys this but it's all good i need to do what i got to do okay so let's check it out right now click here then you go to the website bam all right so this is it and when you click on this it's gonna take you straight to the sales page this is how you set up subdomain i'll be coming up with more tutorials on Builder 5.0 and make sure you don't miss that because uh, it's very very important so please subscribe so you don't miss my next video and it's gonna be about setting up uh, your mailing box for the first time but in the meantime you can check out my channel and you go to videos go to playlist all right so when you scroll down Builder 5.0 and 4.0 Cheetah website builder. All right, so I have all the tutorials here. All right, I have it here for you. So do check them out. But I'll show, like I said, I'll be coming up soon with uh, how to set up your mailing boss account for the first time, especially for beginners. So this is the end of the tutorial. This is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for your time. Please like comment and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss my next video all right until next time take care and have a wonderful day bye bye